you. Thank you very much. I've gone away with uh, women on trips, and I've gone away with guys, and it really is different. Um, with girls, uh, there's a salad that the day is based around. <laughs> and to get to make it is a big deal. <laughs> it's a big honor. And then after your dinner, you sit around uh, talking. That's it. Just talking. The whole time I'm listening to the girls talk about roughage and fiber and all these mature subjects I'm trying to pay attention to. No one ever says, hey, I bet I could whip this knife into a stump. <laughs> I'm fun like that. The other girls don't go, yeah, and how many throws? Barb, get your nail polish, make a bullseye. Let's do this. <laughs> that never happens. And I go away with the guys on a cabin trip. My girl helped me pack. <laughs> That's when I really realized how different uh, we are. Because I'm going away for three days. She goes, you go away for three days. Uh, how many uh, pairs of underwear do you need? Oh, seven. <laughs> Minimum. You can't, you can't change clothes at the cabin. You can't change clothes unless you throw up on yourself. That's the only reason you're allowed to change clothes. You can't be with guys and go, oh, is it lunch already? Be right back. <laughs> Gentlemen. I've got iceberg, romaine. I could chop up some walnuts. This is going to be, come on, you're going to want the roughage. <laughs> These cabin trips are like rites of passage kind of things that happen. This, this last one I went on, this is how old I've gotten. And I didn't realize it hit me back. The first time I went on a cabin trip with guys, I was like maybe 19 or something. And you know, you'd go and have these getaways. And the one time somebody brought a bag of weed, some marijuana. And I was like, no, where'd you get that? That is crazy. No, no, we shouldn't. Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is what we do. Don't tell our dads. Okay, let's do this. And I remember later looking at my hand and finally understanding how it works <laughs> uh, for a little bit, the way the ligaments and tendons. And then the weed would become a constant on these trips. That's part of it until we got older, maybe late 20s, and somebody brought a bag of mushrooms. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Where did you get that? No, no, okay, okay. All right, T today's the day I become this guy, huh? All right, fill me up. And then I remember sitting outside, uh, you know, understanding what leaves think. <laughs> just, just getting to know them, what they go through. We had a great chat, uh, you know, I had so many good questions. Does photosynthesis hurt? <laughs> you know, are you afraid of the fall? Are you looking forward to it? I mean. Do you want to be a new color? Do you like green? Do you believe in reincarnation? Do you think you're going to be back? Or is it a one-shot deal for you guys? Is it all just part of the circle of leaf? <laughs> <laughs> and so this time on this trip, the thing they brought that I couldn't believe they brought, this is how old I am, the thing they brought was a bag of white bread. <laughs> and I, no, where'd you get that? Oh. Oh, oh, this is crazy. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, okay, one slice, one slice. Give me one slice. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Two slices. We'll do a sandwich. Let's go. Let's go. That's the problem with white bread. It's a gateway drug. It, it leads to mayonnaise and 2% milk. How much, how much stronger is milk than booze that you can taste the extra percent? <laughs> That's insane. If you've been drinking skim or 1% and someone gives you a glass of 2%, it's like a cup of butter. You can't even get it down. I had a white bread sandwich with mayonnaise and a glass of 2% milk. I'd never been that messed up in my life. I couldn't move. I, oh, I did too much. I did too much. Oh, make it stop. Make us up, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Did you know it takes eight slices of white bread to produce the amount of fiber that's available in just one slice of whole wheat? And if you tell your friends that on a cabin trip, they will whip a beer at you. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're gonna want the roughage. You need fiber. And when I caught myself yelling, You're gonna want the roughage, you need fiber, I realized I'm older. <laughs> because that is not a young man's taunt.
Thank you very much, Montreal. Thank you. Always a pleasure.